Hi, thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Now, Nina, I have something very important to ask you. <laughs> okay, I'm nervous. You adopted a dog. Oh, yes. Mm. Yes, oh, yes. Okay, what did you call your dog? Um, I have a new, a new love in my life. Yes, her name is Maverick. She's a girl. Um, she's seven months old. Oh. Oh. Yep, yep, oh. there she is. <laughs> She's a beauty. Yeah. She's amazing. I love her so much. Now, I hear that um, you named a Maverick after? After Tom Cruise's character in Top Gun. Ah, yes. Yeah. 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 Why not? Tom Cruise is doing <laughs> another Top Gun. Yes, yes. So um, you should see if you can get Maverick apart. Mm -hmm. I am actively campaigning to try to get Maverick you. in the Maverick Top Gun. Well, I think he watches the talk. Yeah, he Do you want to make an official oh, plea? Yes. Absolutely. Well, I would camera love two is your to. camera right there, right? Yeah. Tom Cruise? Mr. Tom Cruise, <laughs> I would like to uh, make a request. I feel that it is appropriate, since my dog's name is Maverick and your character's name is Maverick, that Maverick should be in Maverick Top Gun. Yes! Also. also. All right, all right. Okay. It would be lovely as well um, <laughs> if she had a speaking role. Uh, if that would not be possible, then I, a background extra. I just think she needs to be somewhere in the back of one of your shots. Thank you so much. Mr. Tom Cruise, oh. please come on our show and oh. give us a cuddle. We'd love you to come here. <laughs> here we go. We saw you playing pool with Demi Lovato and Nick Jonas and Wiz Khalifa. <laughs> yeah. So who is the most competitive? Everyone was competitive and playful. I feel like Wiz was the most... He he's kind of silent but violent. Oh, oh silent was in, but violent. Yeah, but in a, in a good way. He was a yeah, very yeah. good pool player, but he didn't, he didn't talk smack. We were all kind of talking smack about each other, and he would just come cruise in and just sink all the balls, and he won ultimately. Oh, he's <laughs> good. He's good. Yeah, he's really good. Silent but deadly. Yeah. Yes. Like yes. that. Silent but deadly, yes. <laughs> now, you have made a name for yourself in Hollywood, but I heard that your first job didn't go so well yeah no it what happened um like many or maybe not maybe i'm the only one um i got cut out of my first movie oh yeah How old were you <laughs> <laughs> it was it was funny i mean it's funny now at the time not so much but um it was it was cool because it was my first job i was very excited and I, they don't really teach you when you go on set for the first time where to stand or what to do they just uh, assume you know so of course i didn't know and I never hit my mark. I never knew what to say when. It was a disaster. I mean, if, if I was a producer or director on that film, I would have cut me out, too. But well, they didn't tell <laughs> you. You were yeah. a teenage, right? You were I was 14, I think. Well, wow. yeah. It was a lifetime okay. movie that will remain unnamed. Oh. All right. Well, let's talk about your new movie where you... You're in every scene. Flatliners is a reimagining of the 1990 film called Flatliners. The 1990 version had Julia Roberts, Kiefer Sutherland, Kevin Bacon, Oliver Platt. How is the one that's coming out Friday different, and who do you play in the film? It's similar but different, like you said. I mean, it's, it's a similar plot line. It's about a bunch of medical students who are, have an unhealthy obsession with finding out what happens to the brain and to people when they describe the white light post-death. Mm. And they, they stop their hearts in order to find out what that is. And a lot of crazy stuff happens as a result. And my character is Marlo. Marlo is probably the most ambitious, most determined, most stubborn student of them all. And she pushes the envelope the most. Mm. Yes. Mm. Yeah. You are nervous about taking the role after you read the script. Why? The only thing that made me nervous, and I, I'm a huge fan of his work, Nail Darden Oplev, who directed The Original Girl and The Dragon Tattoo, the Swedish version. If anyone has seen that movie, yeah. you've seen how intense it is. Um, the sex scene specifically was very intense in that movie, and I have a sex scene in this film. Ew. Oh. So I was like, oh, God. Did you hit your mark? I don't know. <laughs> Sure did. Yeah. Um, 
<laughs> She's but grown it, up. But it was oh, so it was so intense that uh, I was right to be nervous because the movie, and, I mean, the scene ended up getting cut out of the film because it was oh. too intense. Oh, oh, okay. oh. Yeah. oh! Then you certainly did hit your yep. mark. Yep. Yep. Yeah. A little bit too good. Oh. <laughs> well, we are big fans of yours, and we can't yeah. wait to see yeah. the film. Nina so Dobrev, everybody. Yeah. Flatliners opens in theaters nationwide this Friday, and we'll be right back.